You know, uh, I, I totally sympathize with these teasing buildups that uh, we journalists end up doing because the sheer amount of data, there is a methodology into the madness. Because there's a lot of data and deserves a bit of examination, devil is in the detail, but don't bore us, get to the chorus. What is happening at the national picture? Let's have a look uh, at the overall numbers. Remember, 543 seats up for grab, 272 is the halfway mark. This poll says that the Bharatiya Janta Party is going to win 325 of them. And the NDA, along with Naidu and others, are going to cough up another 58, taking the grand total to 383. The India Alliance, India Alliance at 109 and 51 are the others. Uh, and we'll break up that parties one by one. So 325 is the figure for the BJP. It is not exactly uh, in terms of the 400 par uh, uh, estimation or some would say a hope that the BJP certainly has. But at this point of time, the only thing that matters, ladies and gentlemen, is have you won 273 seats, yes or no? And this is 60 past that number. Now, the breakup, 325 BJP, 52 Congress, 22 DMK, making them the third largest party. Let's go back, 19, 19 for the Trinamool Congress, 14 for the TDP. So, Chandra Babu Naidu says the poll is back. Nitish holds the ground with 11. 9 for Uddhav Thakre, 7 potentially for Sharad Pawar. Very interesting results over there. And this is a, a section of the alliance. Now let's move forward. The other faction of the Shiv Sena also at 7. So they get split. Naveen Patnaik holds on to 7. Jagan holds on to 7 but loses the vast chunk to Chandrababu Naidu. The left holds on to 4 from Kerala, 0 in Bengal. The Samajwadi party sees a minor dip in fortunes from 5 to 3. The RJD gets 3. The National Conference gets 3. And the Aam party says the survey gets 3. 2 from Punjab and 1 from Delhi. Remember, their total right now has been 0. The AIA DMK, meanwhile, 3. KCR gets 3. JDS gets 2. The NCP of Ajit Pawar faction gets 1. And there are 38 others in this, of course, that includes some of the regional parties from the Northeast as well. Now, joining us on the broadcast, we have a quick examination of how this pans out and where this is going on the overall picture. Joyita Basu stays on with us. Sumit Peet joining us. Taseen Punawala joining us. And Piyush Pant joining us as well. Taseen, let's kick it off. Uh, you and I both know that uh, surveys are one thing. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen. If you could predict it, then you know you and I would be sitting in, in, in parliament, sitting and, and, and running the country. So, putting that aside, how is it looking? So firstly, I will sit in parliament in 2029. Make yes, no mistake yes, about yes. it. That's my deal with yes, the universe. Done, done, but let's done come and to done. a larger. That's done and dusted. Let's come to a larger issue. Um, I think that 190 for the Congress, 160 for the BJP. I understand that all these surveys are giving BJP the single largest party. Your survey is saying 380. That's fine. I think people have missed something on the ground. The anger against the BJP is pal palpable. The BJP won't even be single largest party. Congress will be 190. Where is the, where, where do you think is the anger coming from? What is the anger issue here? Particularly against the last 10 years of governance. Uh, with their manifesto which came out yesterday, it should not have been called manifesto, it should have been called Mafi Nama for the lies that were told to the people and the misguided, um, for the misguidance to the people. Everyone's angry with the BGP. I'm not going to go state-wise, just ask. Farmers are angry with the BJP, army men are angry with the BJP, students are angry with the BJP, teachers are angry with the BJP, businessmen are angry with the BJP, small and medium entrepreneurs who is voting for the BJP. Okay, so, so let's qualify that. Bjp. So you say farmers. For farmers, is it about MSP? Because students, I'm assuming that's about, about vote, is about paper leaks. What are, let's go ahead, case leaks. by case. Farmers is about MSP. Farmers is about not doubling the farmer's income. Farmers is about... Uh, uh, arbitrary bans on export of, say, example, wheat, rice, onion, causing loss. At one end, you say we cannot give you an MSP. That's fine. On the other hand, you 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 say you you say because it's a free market. On the other hand, uh, farmers who have deals to export rice, wheat, and onion arbitrarily you shut it down. How does it both work? So if you shut down and they have deal, who we'll compensate them? There you can't give MSP. So you see, farmers are extremely upset. These, these layered arguments don't come through. Students because of paper lead, army men, Agni weed. Now the reports come up that BJP will scrap Agni weed. So what happens to the three lakh people you did not admit in, in the last two years? You had time for elections. You couldn't admit people in the army. So army men are upset with them. Who's, who's happy with them? Women are upset with them. 
who's voting manipur is upset with them who's voting for them okay. no one's voting for them okay all right then conversely that if people are upset then they should be convinced that there is a better alternative now the last when we spoke uh, tahseen uh, we were waiting for something to be shown to us on paper on what the plan is now we have a paper all right we have a we have a, a nyay patra uh, which goes into some detail are you now convinced satisfied that there is an alternate vision some thought has been put to it and it sort of makes sense absolutely people understand any see let me just give you an example say you're in an say you're in a in a in a in a car and the car catches fire you're not going to wait like oh can i have another car will the insurance pay for my car if your car is on fire you will get out of the car and run away first this government is that disastrous car first abandon the car whoever will drive the next car whether you go by car cab rickshaw you'll figure it out first get out of this car so this car has to be abandoned the people of india i'm right now i'm in maharashtra i'm back in delhi tomorrow core bjp voters core bjp voters i'm talking about doctors uh, engineers are saying until yesterday they were abusing abc of ajit pawar ashok chavan and chakan bujbal until yesterday today all three abc are with bjp why should we vote for them these people voted for modi ji because they wanted they didn't want ashok chavan ji they didn't want ajit pawar from baramati they didn't want chakan bujbal today they are with them the people are fed up of the bjp and businessmen mark my words the tax terrorism today in our country the tax terrorism is astounding every person about 70 crore rupees is buying a house in dubai why why is everyone buying a house in dubai with about say come to dubai it's a cleaner uh, mumbai and delhi right now pollution free mumbai and delhi there's a cancer pandemic in north india there's a heart attack pandemic in the country okay is is the prime minister even addressing these issues okay so uh there is an ideological divide also and that has been made apparent by these manifestai is there a comfort that the congress feels it can be catered to when they talk of quotas and you know government jobs you know the old familiar uh, and narendra modi talks about the future what future is the honorable prime minister speaking about i have a lot of respect for the prime minister but all the prime minister today i heard his very nice interview with uh, smita ji what is he speaking what is his vision for the future he has no specific vision can you can we understand what is his policy on ai he has no policy i understand he met influencers that's great what is his policy what is his policy on quantum computing he has zero policy has he spoken about it what is tell me what is your, our policy on ai fintech every ai fintech company is registered in singapore dubai why are they not registering in india why are they all going away there is no policy what is your policy on crypto you may agree this agree this everything what's your policy the rbi has no policy rbi says one thing sebi says one thing what's your policy on mutual funds RBI says one thing, as you say, B says another thing. In between, mutual funds fall down. Finance Ministry says the third thing. What's your policy on tax uh, on tax parity? Nothing. What is the future vision for this country? There is nothing that they have. They have zero vision. So all they'll do is go into the past. They will talk about temples, mosques, Hindu kings, Muslim kings, okay. Muslim. Okay, Day, but Christian but reasonably, Tehsin talking about no no caste quota cap cap re re caste census. potentially redistribution of wealth with a wealth disparity survey i mean certainly the businessmen are going to run faster when they are told that anybody who earns more than the let's say per capita income uh, is going to be part of a survey and who knows what we do with the data no that was not said what they've said is the illegal redistribution of illegal wealth that has been that has been collected will be redistributed that is completely different from what is being portrayed that manifesto very clearly says the illegal corrupt money which is being collected by the government which this government tom toms 1 lakh 2 lakh crores he got will be redistributed now what did the honorable prime minister mean when he was contesting 2014 which he said as a jumla 15 lakhs approximately can come from swiss banks that was redistribution of wealth is the exact same thing How come when the prime minister says it, it's a master stroke in China can it be? But if Rahul Gandhi says it's not Gandhi Giri, it's the exact same thing. The redistribution of illegal wealth. Now okay. Rishabh doesn't have illegal wealth. Okay. Uh, Piyush sir doesn't have illegal wealth. Sumit Bhai doesn't have. So they don't have to worry. Illegal wealth confiscated by the government. What do you do with that money? Will be redistributed amongst. Okay. I have, not I have, I have one money. more question before let's go. They're not saying take money from Piyush Bhai and give it to. They're not saying get, take money from Piyush sir and give it to somebody poor like me. They are not saying that. They are saying illegal wealth. Okay, I have one more question before I let you go. In in a practical sense of focusing on what seats and picking the right candidates and getting a little bit of the electoral math and alliances in in together, this time are you seeing a better scenario? Has have, have has the party figured it out a bit better? Because in places like UP and all, we are still waiting for candidates. Yeah, but that's the strategy they have after the first phase. 
that is a part of the strategy. About 190 for the Congress, 160 for the BJP. The Congress will be single largest. India Alliance is winning it. They're getting their crossing to 72. As of today, if elections are just now, 190. Only one request is tally all VV pads. I don't think any any patriotic Indian can can disagree with that. We are just saying all VV pads must have a barcode to the EVM machine. This not even opposing EVM machine and tally all VV pads. As many votes, tell it. Why can't yeah, tell okay, it? It is the Why right is of the candidates issue? to demand that VV pads be tallied. For people watching the broadcast, mm -hmm. all, uh, it, yeah, in all. every EVM, there is there is a machine that ma maintains a, a physical record of the votes tallied, which is what Tehseen is talking about. Okay, so you have an enthusiastic voice of Tehseen who's sounding convinced that no, uh, the, the the trend is the opposite. It's, the, it's a grand comeback for the grand old party. Uh, back from 40, 50 seats, uh, closer to 200. Tehseen Purawala, thanks for joining us. Let me thank you so much, yeah, Let, let me get the, let so me get the obvious, uh, uh, very smiling Sumit Peer into this. Uh, Sumit, who knows what happens in in, in politics? Okay, I, I don't I don't think anybody could have predicted the sweep with which the BJP won the first time, second time. I was told when I began this career that no way would the UPA return, and they did. Okay, and they formed a stable government, you know, minus uh, a nuclear deal and 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 a left rebellion. So, in a practical sense now, this poll today is predicting a more than good enough performance for the BJP. Where do you stand? Rishabji, thanks for having me on your show. I, I was I was very uh, happy to see Taisim Bhai, who was trying to hide all his fears, but was trying to be sound very enthusiastic with the numbers. But if you look, this poll is about Modi's key guarantee, what Modi ji has delivered for 10 years. If you look at four crore houses, if you look at Ayushman Bhavar, Bharat covering more population than the United States of America and more people been cured than the United Kingdom. If you look at LPG concentration of 98%, if you look at 24 crore people elevated from the poverty, if you look at 80 crore people getting the free ration. If you look at 11.5 crore Shochala is built, if you look at 4 crore homes delivered, if you look at Ujwala, if you look at Prujwala, if you look at you know, uh, what do you call mudra loans, crores of more than 9 crore people got the mudra loans. If you look at Kisan Samanidhi, 11.5 crores are, get, Kisans are getting Kisan Samanidhi. If you look at 80 crore people have got a Jandan account. If you look at the cost of GB from 200 okay, rupees. Okay, Sumit, Sumit, I've done the maths. Okay, you know I've yeah. done the maths because you were probably sitting with me when we did the maths. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, as we speak, there are 3.53 crore beneficiary touch points that the government has delivered in the past five years. That means for every man, woman and child in the country, there are three beneficiaries. Okay. Correct. So in terms of touch points, that is very, very high. If, it, if you calculate only on those, yes, of course, Narendra Modi should happily win because forget the statistics, you've done the dipstick test. We know that, yes, the... When I get on the road and I can tell, yes, this is the highway I'm driving on and Meerut is a lot closer. And the Vande Bharat is a very real thing and the airport is, is, is new. So, let's put that aside. But, Sumit Peer, there is a lot of comfort for a lot of people who have defined how they vote by their identity, by their caste, by their region, by their religion. So, when the Congress says caste centers and more quota... Yay, they are saying, because that's what they understand. And, and I totally sympathize where that comes from. So it's not as easy as just building a Sochale, is it? You see, uh, Rishabh ji, they went with the five uh, assembly polls recently. They talked about the caste census. We know what the result was. Nya Yatra, Bharat Jodo Yatra, they talked about the Jati Gat, Jati Ganjana You know what the result was. There was no traction. When people are getting development, de development delivered at their doorstep, admiss religion, caste, creed, you know, sex, linguistic barriers, demographic barriers, why should you get into something which has not worked for the last 65 years and how is Congress going to work it for now? That's point number one. Point number two, Rahul Gandhi ji says, we'll give one lakh to every woman of the country. I'm assuming they are 50 crore eligible women. 50 crore into one lakh, it is more than the budget of the India. Where are you going to find that money from? You know, there are some things which Congress has not delivered. And when you look at UPA 1 and UPA 2, Chacha Ji, Mama Ji, Colgate, Railgate, Sikh Commonwealth, it was a plethora of scams. Where can you point a scam to Prime Minister Modi? 1.8 trillion GDP to 4.1 trillion GDP, right? LCH, LCA, aircraft carriers, dozens of missiles tests, you are a nuclear trade. From a 230 million, of, around 300 billion dollars of exports, you are doing, my, hopefully will do around a trillion this year, last year we did 775 billion, 640 billion dollars of foreign exchange reserves, 7.8 percent growth, fastest okay. growing economy in the world, and a youth youth 
of 700 800 million which is the demographic dividend is going to last for 70 years when these things are coming down to the ground when these highways are built these airports are built people are okay. getting opportunity okay to all right so I, okay. it's, it's only hubris if it fails so this could be the boldest leap in indian politics something we've been aspiring for for decades can you look at the end of the two nation theory can you look at new secularism and Narendra Modi says that is no longer about Hindu Muslim is about everybody should get a house. Everybody should right. get a good road. Everybody should get a clean railway station. Or right. will there be a comfort in understanding that no, by you know, my, my, my quota is what I what I really like. OK, and, and, and I'm wedded to that. Jaita Basu. OK, first of all, what's your prediction? You seeing the numbers that the poll has predicted What's yours. Uh, well, Rishabh, uh, to me, I think the BJP will be crossing 300, whether it is going up to 315 or 320 or 330, I'm not certain. But I would put them in the range of 300, uh, around 310. And I would take down those NDA numbers also to maybe around 350. Okay, I mean, but yes, what we are looking at is that a comfortable majority a good enough majority for BJP, for Prime Minister Modi to implement his programs and whatever he wants to, whichever, whichever direction he wants India to take, because ultimately that's what is needed. You, you cannot have a coalition government and be, you know, at the mercy of your allies and not be able to uh, pursue certain policies. So that is the reason why people also, because if you are looking at the voting pattern, very rarely people nowadays are giving a kind of a hung situation. They are going for a strong leader. They want a prime ministerial face. And I would say, even when people who do not support Mr. Modi, there are enough of them, he's saying, I mean, okay, I mean, they have a generally, I would say, a positive impression about Mr. Modi, uh, many of them. Okay, all right. Okay, so Tehseen has come and spoken a lot about a lot of people are upset and, and let, let's face it, uh, it's a democracy. We love being upset with government. But are you seeing it? You know, this is, being upset with government is the very definition, ladies and gentlemen, of what is called as, as, as anti-incumbency, okay? Uh, that used to be a thing. I haven't seen it. Do you see it, Joyta? Is it, is, it, is it obvious that people are really agitated when they're talking in the drawing rooms and they're going, you know, uh, he's a nice guy, but, you know, actually, you know, he, he mucked up GST and so, so no, 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 uh, no, no, no. So are you seeing that happening? No, no, not really at all. In fact, uh, Rishabh, I can say with certainty because I'm seeing it with my own eyes, there are constituencies where people do not even know who the opposition candidate is. You know, so so I would say it is, and if you're talking to people, I'm talking to people in West Bengal, I'm talking to people in lots of, you know, from different parts of the country, except for, you know, what, which are strongholds of the regional parties, I would say, okay, the people have made up their mind. It's a very quiet election that way. Okay, so now, okay, but quick, quick interjection, uh, the 30 seconds, and I, 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 I want to get in the others, please. Uh, Sumit, go ahead. You see, Parishab ji, the point is very simple in India. I know if I'm casting a vote to a BJP candidate, my vote is going for Prime Minister Modi. It's very done and dusted, right? Now, what is the alternate to Modi? What they have? There's no alternate to Modi. What is the alternate vision to Modi? There's no alternate vision to Modi. And their models have failed for 65 years. If a new relaunch Rahul Gandhi comes and promises Sir, Earth, Sun and the Moon, what is my guarantee he will be successful for another 65 years or not? That is the biggest thing. While as Prime Minister Modi, in the last 10 years, the development is delivered. That is what the Modi trust is about. That was the Modi guarantee is about. You have 65 years of dreams and 10 years of development delivered. That is where the, all the game changed. And impeccably honest and a person who cannot be corrupted. That's even what the CIA tells about Modi. He cannot be corrupted. Okay, so, so quick, 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 okay, quick last yeah. question. Quick last question. A Narendra Modi today, okay, the circumstances, ladies and gentlemen, it's a long time ago, but it's only also 10 years. I just want you to think back. 2013, when you're gearing up for the 2014 cycle, at that point of time, this is a chief minister. It is not even for certain that, you know, LK Advani, will he be happy or not happy? And will the entire RSS and the BJP rally behind and all the leaders, some of who have been union ministers in the previous government under Vajpayee, whether they'll all back at Sushma and a Jaitli and a Rajnath. Okay, what about the big other state satraps of a Shivra Chauhan? Okay, remember, these were the big faces. Raman Singh, these were all three-time chief ministers. They're all big faces. Many would have said at that par, at time, you know, par at par with Narendra Modi, and he is in a different orbit right now. Okay, 
So yeah. what is that different orbit? How is Narendra Modi different today than 2014, 2019, as you see him? Today, Modi ji has delivered on all the promises. He has made impossible possible. If you look at 370, if you look at surgical strikes, if you look at his foreign policy, if you look at his economic policy, if you look at the development going to the grassroots level and Rishabh ji, to be very honest, there are more than 250 seats which will vote on the name, fame and delivery and the goodwill of Prime Minister Modi only. No. Because today, the, the notion is very clear. Why Modi ke liye button dabana hai? No, no, there, if, no, there is no doubt that in 2019, a lot of people who should not have won Lok Sabha elections won uh, because blindly of, because people were voting for Narendra Modi. I won't credit correct. them for having their own victory. They won because Narendra Modi, no doubt about it. Okay, but Joyita, quick thought. Okay, so 2014, completely different scenario. 2019, and Narendra Modi has been around for five years, okay. But this is not a Narendra Modi who's done Ram Mandir, who's done 370. There's a, there is a level up that has happened this time around, okay. So the big question then is, what is the next level? How is a Narendra Modi different and what's the big ticket potentially for him to do? Uh, uh, earlier, what happened was that, you know, the niyat thik hai. I mean, his intentions are right. When you're looking at 2019, from there, they have shifted to Modi ki guarantee, meaning it's Modi hai to mumkin hai. So what we have seen, the delivery, the delivery has started. Now everybody is talking about what are the things that he will be delivering. The so-called impossibles will now be made possible, okay. which are the other things, you know. So this is way how things are moving. And the thing is, there's no alternative. It, and, and the thing is, in this case, it is not the Tina factor. It is actually a pro-incumbency vote that will be, I mean, that is the feedback we are okay. getting from All the right. government. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now made a commitment at the very beginning of this poll cycle, as it now officially begins in a couple of days, that it is about trying to guesstimate, estimate, survey what the pulse is. We have done 25 hours of analysis on just numbers. If you can go onto our YouTube page, you'll find our statistically speaking show that has done the surveys state by state for the past one month. We put them all together in this survey today. Through the course of the next 24 hours, every single poll out there will be putting together in our polo poll. So we're putting you all the numbers out there, okay, including analysis of where things are going because I know that in the end, that's the only thing that we want to know, who's winning. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.